in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about procedure-free ways to improve the appearance of frown lines. What are frown lines? Those pesky vertical lines on your glabella, which is this part of your face, that appear with age and they're accentuated when we frown. Real quick, shout out to today's sponsor, Sleeping Glow. You guys know I'm a huge fan of their pillow. As we get older, our skin loses elasticity and with repetitive motions from facial expressions, we have prominent creases and most notably those show up as, as uh, these vertical lines in on the glabella called frown lines. In addition to age, which you can't really stop aging, I mean, it just happens, there are a variety of other things that accelerate the rate of loss of elasticity from the skin and contribute to frown lines. Poor sleep has been shown to be associated with decreased elasticity in the skin. There's actually a Korean study that demonstrated this, and then another study that showed a decrease in skin hydration in women who were sleep deprived, as well as uh, increased pore size. In one of these studies, sleep deprivation also was associated with more skin discoloration and, and hyperpigmentation. I recommend trying to train yourself to sleep on your back. It can be very difficult, but when you sleep on your face, uh, the skin on your face gets mashed and that accentuates the appearance of wrinkles on the face, including the 11 lines. I had a hard time learning to sleep on my back and I sure wish I had had this pillow, uh, my sleeping glow pillow when I was on this journey uh, because I have no issue sleeping on my back now since I've got this. I highly recommend it. Basically what it is is a sleep pillow that supports your neck and shoulder girdle for sleeping comfortably on your back. It was designed in collaboration with orthopedists, so it allows for the proper alignment of the spine and, and, the, and the head. And it also is memory foam, so it molds to the shape of your head and neck and really allows for restorative sleep. The most important thing is the number of hours of sleep that you get and the quality of that sleep. But the Sleep and Glow pillow not only supports that, but it also is nice for the improvement of the appearance of wrinkles on the face in that it doesn't squish up against your face. It shapes to your face. So if you are a side sleeper, you can't quite get on board with back sleeping. This is also perfect for you because the side will cradle your cheek and there's no squishing of the face up against the pillow. They also make both a silk pillowcase and a tensile uh, pillowcase, both of which are nice and that they don't absorb uh, skincare or hair care products. And that's great, you know, that building up on your pillowcase can create kind of a film and that actually can lead to acne exacerbations, particularly if you are a side sleeper laying up against that. But click the link in the description box, you guys, you can get $10 off your Sleep and Glow pillow with my coupon code. Thank you Sleep and Glow for sponsoring a portion of today's video. What else can you do to improve the appearance of forehead wrinkles? Well, you have to protect your skin from ultraviolet radiation that comes from the sun. Not only ultraviolet radiation that burns your skin, but also those not so noticeable wavelengths of ultraviolet radiation that come through window glass and reflect off of surfaces. They penetrate deeply into our skin. These are known as UVA. And when they penetrate deeply into the skin, they activate enzymes that shoo up the deeper layers of our skin and contribute to wrinkles. It's important to wear a broad spectrum SPF 30 or higher sunscreen every single day uh, to sun exposed areas. And my rule of thumb is to reapply it at least three times a day. All sunscreen has to be reapplied because it rubs off and doing it three times a day ensures that you always have some on board and you always have protection, but that's not enough. You need to wear a broad brimmed hat that also will give you good protection of your face and forehead. Another thing that I don't talk enough about on this channel, but is really important is the quality of your diet, specifically diets that are rich in fruits and vegetables have actually been associated with less skin aging. I have a whole video talking about anti-aging foods, but fruits and vegetables are rich in antioxidants that can scavenge free radical damage in the skin and reduce formation of wrinkles and fine lines. Fruits and vegetables also have a fairly high water content that helps you stay hydrated and drinking water throughout the day also can help this. 
Now, drinking water doesn't necessarily hydrate your skin effectively, but when our body is hydrated, the skin does appear plumper and smoother, and that definitely can diminish the appearance of those forehead lines. I have a video going into detail about water drinking and skin benefits, so check that out. But yes, make sure you stay hydrated, and you can do that either by drinking water and or fruits and vegetables, ideally a combination of the two. Another contributing factor to loss of elasticity in our skin that's really difficult to avoid is pollution. Pollution is associated with accelerated uh, skin aging, including loss of elasticity and formation of frown lines. So my recommendation for that is make sure you wash your face in the evening before you go to bed to remove any pollutants that may have settled on the surface of your skin. The other thing you may be interested in pursuing to help at least buffer against some free radical damage from pollutants accumulating on your skin, and also UV, you may elect to pursue an antioxidant-based serum type product. Uh, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of these on the market. I've reviewed many of them. Uh, some that are noteworthy include ubiquinone, vitamin C, green tea, specifically EGCG, the antioxidant in green tea, etc. And as I've always pointed out, the issue with antioxidants and topical skincare products surrounds their stability. They're very unstable. Their ability to actually get into your skin and, and truly scavenge free radicals is questionable. I have a video on UV quinone specifically, but this has a little bit better chance of getting into your skin. And there are some good studies showing that people who applied UV quinone topically did have an improvement in wrinkles. So I have used the Inky List UV quinone uh, serum or Q10 serum. I'll list it down below for you guys. It's relatively inexpensive. But do know that using that particular product, you know, you're probably not gonna see a drastic effect. It's kind of more preventative, if anything. Tackling pollution is really something that's going to be hard for you to detect a measurable difference in, in your skin. It's not as though using an antioxidant serum or even washing your face in the evening is going to yield something that you're gonna see on your face right away. It's more preventative and it kind of requires a little bit of faith, but washing your face at the end of the day is, is a useful measure and something that's recommended, not only to remove pollutants that may have settled there, but pollens and allergens and other things that can drive irritation in the skin, bacteria, cosmetics, things that can exacerbate acne and cause all sorts of skin problems. So washing your face at the end of the day is a good skin care measure. Another major factor in loss of elasticity from the skin is, of course, stress. Very difficult to lead a stress-free life. Uh, we have tons of psychosocial stressors in our day-to-day -day life, and you may be going through a physical stress, like a treatment for a chronic illness. The way that I deal with stress and something that I do consistently that helps me manage stress is to exercise. To uh, pseudo quote, legally blonde, exercise releases endorphins, which make you happy and happy people do not frown. So they don't have frown lines, but they have smile lines. Anyways, exercise is what I do to cope with stress. It's a good re endorphin relief. It always puts me in a good mood and I never regret doing it. And while it won't erase your forehead lines, uh, you definitely can appreciate a healthy radiant glow in your face. And there are some definite skin benefits to exercise. In terms of products though, one thing that can really make a huge difference in the appearance of 11 lines, forehead lines, any kind of wrinkles and fine lines is using a hyaluronic acid serum underneath your moisturizer at night, specifically to targeted areas where you have prominent furrows, wrinkles. It's not gonna get rid of them, it's not gonna permanently erase them, but it delivers focused hydration to those areas and plumps up the, the stratum corneum in that area, and it kind of fills in the groove of the wrinkle and can really diminish the appearance of that. I've got videos on my favorite hyaluronic acid products and serums, but I'll list those products down below for you guys, but that really can help in smoothing out skin texture, giving the skin a more hydrated, uh, and firm appearance definitely can improve the appearance of those 11 lines. But it's the kind of thing that if you stop doing it, they're just gonna, they're just gonna become apparent again. It's not a cure, but it's more of a camouflage. It's the combination of loss of elasticity in your skin that occurs with aging, as well as these external factors that I've talked about, plus repetitive motion of your face. So attempting to minimize repetitive motions, frowning, for example, is, is one way to kind of think about potentially preventing the formation of prominent wrinkles, in this case, 11 lines. 
That has not exactly been something that has been rigorously tested and studied, but it makes some sense. However, take that with a grain of salt and don't go overboard with it and trying to immobilize your face. Uh, you know, I think if anything, that'll stress you out and, and make things worse. But you can kind of try and condition yourself to not wrinkle your forehead as much using facial patches that immobilize the area. They make these, a variety of different brands make these. There's one called Frownies that go specifically on the glabella to immobilize that area and in theory reduce 11 lines. I happen to be a fan of this brand Sayo. They make these um, similar type of patches, but theirs have dimethicone in them, which is a silicone. And topical application of silicone, silicone oils, has been shown to improve the appearance of scars and smooth out the skin. So I kind of like that idea for wrinkles as well. These are nice, they're reusable. Uh, you, it says you can use them 10 to 15 times. I personally have gotten about 20 uses out of these. But uh, the way to kind of try these out, uh, you know, you can wear them at bedtime while you're asleep, but we don't really frown that much in our sleep intentionally, at least I don't think we do. Um, so another way to use them in, as a training tool to get you to stop wrinkling your glabella as much is to actually wear them during the day. And you're like, oh my goodness, first you want us to wear this face shield to protect us from the sun. I didn't mention that in today's video, but I do in other videos. And now you want us to wear a forehead band-aid all the time. No, um, but you might consider wearing it around your house, uh, like on the weekends in front of somebody who knows you well and is not gonna make fun of you too much. Uh, or, you know, if you live alone, then go at it. You know, this is nice because we do move our face a lot and having this on there can kind of train you to not make those facial expressions as much. These really can help train you to reduce those repetitive motions. They're a training tool. And once you get it down, it's not something you necessarily have to do for life. So I think it's a reasonable thing to try out. And especially when you're younger and the lines haven't already formed, uh, then, you know, it's kind of something that you already have that habit in place if you've used it before for a prolonged period of time. You can also use these on the neck too, if you have wrinkles on the neck, uh, which is nice. They kind of train you, I guess, to make more facial expressions that are subtle, that don't use large muscle groups, you know, just kind of changing the direction of your eye subtly, a little you know, very subtle facial movements that convey your, convey your expression without wrinkling your face. This is extra, you guys, this is extra. It's definitely not gonna erase existing wrinkles, but it can help. And the fact that these have dimethicone in them, it can kind of smooth out that area. So those are my tips, tricks, strategies for non-invasive improvement of 11 lines or frown lines. But smile, you guys. The more you smile, the less you frown, the less frown lines there are. Then you'll come back at me with the smile line video that you want. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Check the link in the description box. You can get $10 off your Sleeping Glow pillow. Thank you, Sleeping Glow, for sponsoring today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>